What's going on on the ground today, and what, if anything, should we expect from uh, today's round of peace talks? So the, I think the, what's happening on the battlefield and the peace talks are, as they always are, very much related. Uh, let's start not with the, the main headline of the day, which we've been talking about a lot, the, the attack inside Russian territory against the fuel depot. But back in Kyiv, uh, the mayor of a suburb just on the outskirts of the city announced a short while ago that Russian forces had been driven out of a little area called Bucha. Now, that might sound very specific, very local to this conflict. But it is a, a major milestone for the Ukrainian government, for the Ukrainian resistance. Uh, you have Kyiv, the, the, the main capital, with, uh, with its sort of under government control and its government bubble. Then there was an area called Irpin, which was right outside the capital. And that had been used, or Russian forces were trying to use that suburb to enter the city. First, Russian forces were driven out of Irpin. And now we're told, or the mayor is claiming, that Russian forces have been driven even further back from the following suburb, which is called Bucha. So this, when you, when you line it all up, it sounds like the R Russian forces are taking significant losses around Kyiv, and the, the government in Kyiv is really establishing a much, much wider bubble, making the people in the capital feel much uh, more comfortable that they are now in, mm -hmm. in very little risk of being surrounded and very little risk that the capital itself could be invaded or taken over, at least at this stage of the operation. Then the new development of the day, which is that strike inside mm -hmm. Russia on an oil depot, which is actually not very far from here, uh, just across the border, about 45 miles from, from where I'm standing uh, right now. And according to the Russian, Russian officials, and it's not just one Russian official, but multiple Russian officials, there were two Ukrainian helicopters under, under the cover of darkness that crossed the border, traveled about 20 miles, attacked this fuel depot from the helicopters and then returned to Ukrainian mm -hmm. territory. And they were apparently not shot down. They were not harassed. Uh, uh, Dmitry Peskov, Putin's spokesman, was specifically asked, how is it possible that these helicopters were able to enter Russian airspace and not be harassed, not be shot down, return to their home base? And Ukrainian officials uh, are using this classic formulation when you want to confirm something but don't want to acknowledge it, that we can neither confirm nor deny. Right. But had they not been involved, and this was something that the Russians were launching themselves as a false flag, they, mm -hmm. they certainly would have been in a position to deny.